Hello friends, welcome to Learner's Planet. In this session, we'll discuss about the working of laser printer. Laser printers utilize laser beam to produce an image. It works on the principle of static electricity. See, static electricity is simply an electric charge which builds up on insulated objects like the plastic combs, like the balloons, like your body. See, it is responsible for the static shocks or for the shocks which you get. See, when you cross a rug and uh, just open or touch the doorknob, you get a shock. When a comb is rubbed on the hair and then it is put over the small pieces of paper, the papers cling to the comb, which is due to the development of the static charge. So let's see how this laser beam is working for producing image and how it helps in printing. See, this is a laser printer. The core component of this system is a photoreceptor, that is a receptor of light. It is a revolving drum. See, this is a revolving drum or a cylinder. This drum assembly is made up of highly photoconductive material that is discharged by light photons. This assembly, this drum assembly, this is made up of highly photoconductive material and it is discharged by light. What else are the components? This is the corona wire. This is the toner hopper, laser scanning unit, paper tray. This is the developer roller. Then there is a photoreceptor drum assembly, which I have told you. So this is the core component. A fuser and a discharge lamp. Now let's see how these things print the things on the paper, which are there on your computer screen. When the data is streamed from the computer, the electronic circuit activates corona wire. See, this is the corona wire. This corona wire gives positive charge to this drum. The drum revolves. When the drum revolves, what happens? See, there is a laser scanning unit. This laser beam draws image on the drum. When this laser beam strikes the drum, it erases the positive charge. The positive charge was given by the corona wire. The laser beam, er, this, er, this is erasing the positive charge and it creates the negative charge. In this way, this laser beam is drawing the image or the letters which are to be printed on this drum. And this image is called as electrostatic image. Now this image or pattern is set on the drum. The drum rolls over. There is a toner hopper. This toner this, uh, gives a fine powder. It is a fine black powder. This coats the drum with fine black powder. This black powder has got a positive charge. So this toner clings to the negative discharged areas. Positive charge was given by corona wire. The laser beam erases the positive charge, draws the images of letters and gets the negative charge. This toner powder clings to the negative charge but not to the positively charged background. Right? When this powder pattern, now in this drum, the powder pattern is affixed, that is the images are affixed. The drum rolls over, where? Over the sheet of paper. Now this sheet of paper is moving on this belt. Before moving, this paper is given a negative charge. Now this negative charge which the paper has is stronger than the negative charge on the drum. So what this paper does, it attracts the toner powder away or it takes the toner powder away. So now this paper is moving with the same speed as the drum. So what will this paper do?
paper will pick up the image pattern exactly which is on the drum. Got it? From here, the paper, this paper is moving and from here it is passed to the fuser. What is this fuser? Fuser is a pair of heated rollers. As the paper passes through the rollers, what happens? This is heated. So the paper gets heated up, the toner melts and it clings with the fibers or it gets fused with the fibers of the paper and the paper comes out. So this is a fuser, this fuser rolls the paper out to the output tray and you have got the print. Now the question arises that this fuser, it is what? It is a heated rollers. So why not the paper burns? This is because it is moving through it quickly. So it is passing through the drum slowly and it moves through the fuses quickly. Now after this, see this drum has deposited toner on this uh, paper. Now it rolls over to the discharge lamp. This discharge lamp gives a bright light. Initially, I told you it is a photoreceptor and it is made up of photoconductive material. So this discharge light, uh, this, is, this light is given to the paper and it discharges the paper. It erases the electrical image. The drum surface again passes to the corona wire. Corona wire will again what will do? This corona wire will again give the positive charge to this drum. Laser beam will draw the image. Then there is a toner powder. Coating will be there on the drum. Then there is a paper which is moving on the belt. It moves uh, along with the drum at the same speed. So it picks up the toner powder as it is initially given the negative charge which is stronger than the negative charge which is on the drum. Takes up the image from there moves to the fuser, the, uh, the stoner melts, fixes to the fibers or fuses with the fibers on the paper and then it is rolled out. The drum passes to the discharge lamp again, gets discharged. That is the, uh, the electrical image, whatever was there, it erases all. So this is how the laser printer works. I hope you have enjoyed this session. We'll be meeting in the next session with something interesting and new. Uh, not new, something interesting. Thank you for listening and keep asking questions to yourself how it works.